The first drill that I would use with hitters is to just start with a guy getting in the box and he knows what pitch is coming and we're working on getting our foot down early, getting timed and hitting the fastball. As soon as we get a feel for the fastball, we're going to just completely throw 100% change-ups. The key thing we're looking for is delay your load, delay your land, make sure that you have the same bat speed through the change-up as you do the fastball. So that's what we're going to do right now. So the next four or five pitches are going to be fastballs. Okay, we're looking good, we're looking comfortable on the fastball, now we're going to switch it to a changeup. Now we're just going to make sure that when we're looking changeup, we're getting it timed right and we're having the same bat speed through the changeup. Okay, one key point to work on right here that is a, an important follow-up. I would always suggest that the first off-speed pitch that a hitter face, sees, he takes. Because there's literally no chance of making that adjustment without visually seeing it once. So our hitter right there took that first change up, and then he got on the next couple, and I'd say we're pretty good for, uh, for that drill. one thing make sure your lift is just a hair earlier just make sure you load a little earlier okay even earlier still there you go okay what's this gonna what this gonna give us is an opportunity to just strictly focus on fastball get consistently good ones and make sure that the adjustment is most of the time when a guy's laid on a fastball He's loading a little bit late, he's landing a little bit late. We just need to speed up those two things and get the bat to the front of the plate. So now we'll move to change-ups. Good pitch. Okay, one, one thing that's important is, is sometimes it's, you just don't say anything and you give the person enough reps that they can make those adjustments on their own. When you're looking change up, you load a little bit later, you land a little bit later, and you're always kind of thinking, unless the ball's in, I want to drive the ball up the middle, up the middle, up the middle, opposite way on off-speed pitches. Next hitter. Okay, we've we figured out after a couple pitches, we are on the fastball, foot's coming up in time, foot's getting down on time, we're nice and squaring it up. Now we would want to go to change up and make sure we see exactly that same swing with the off-speed pitch. Okay, one thing you noticed, actually a couple things. There's a reason pitchers slow down. It's because if a hitter early in a count is swinging at an off-speed pitch off a fastball, you're probably going to have it poorly timed. You need to see the pitch a few times, and if you noticed, after a couple miss hits, we squared a couple up. 
but it's always a good idea early in a count first off speed pitch you see look at it if it's not a strike look at the next one and don't even try to hit that pitch until you've seen a couple because even on the machine knowing it's coming it's hard to do next <laughs> 